Mr. Terence Hugoten. Mr. Hugoten is an educator, entrepreneur, and community advocate. Mr. Hugo served in distant 3,300 Rotary, Rotary Comedy and the Rotary Trainers Comedy. He chartered two award-winning Rotary Clubs for the past seven years. For his presidential term in Rotary Club of Bukit Bintan, Mr. Hugo was named as the distance outstanding Rotary for Rotary year 2019-2020. During the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, Mr. Hugo, alongside Southeast Asian Rotary leaders, founded Rotary One Asian. Mr. Hugo has been featured on various media and publications such as Astro Awani, The Star, Synchro Daily, Property Queen, Malaysia Today, and many more. Well, let me invite Mr. Hugo Tan for discussing the history of polio and Rotary. Thank you for the kind introduction, MC. Mingalaba and a very good evening to uh, ladies and gentlemen over here. I'm Hugo Tan. Uh, in fact, currently, like, I think uh, one of the Rotarians has remarked, right, right, there's a lot of events happening uh, right now, today. You know, I, I'm hosting on one side and here, here am I. You know? uh, once again, thank you to President Dr. Teen and also Rotaractor Miat for the invitation. Uh, so can I have the uh, slides, please, technical team? All right, thank you. Thank you for accommodating. So, okay, let us start straight away, right? So today, uh, I was being informed to talk about the uh, history of Rotary and the fight against polio. I think for a lot of us, uh, very uh, new Rotarians or Rotaractors, you know, we often hear about the end polio campaign, but we don't really know how significant it is, right? So that's the reason why we need to go back into history, you know, before we make history together. Because as of right now, as of today, there are only two polio endemic countries left, which is Afghanistan and Pakistan. But do you realize how far we have came in order to achieve what we have today? And why is it that Rotary is so big on polio? It's as if it is ongoing, non-stop, you know, it's just hammer into our campaigns, our projects, our yearly calendar. Why is polio so significant to what Rotary stands for? Okay, uh, can I have the next slide, please? Thank you. So this is uh, actually from a singer, Angelique. Angelique says that uh, she is from a generation that has witnessed the effects of polio. So when she discovered how close we are to eradicating polio, she is very motivated to be part of the movement. So perhaps for some of you, I've been in a road tree, road track for about like seven, going to eight years right now. And a lot of times at the beginning, I too wonder, you know, what is it about this polio disease? Because all of us, you know, in this generation, we are very fortunate because we have kind of sneak right through the generation where polio is a real threatening threat. And now we are in a more fortunate times, you know, with all the immunization programs and the vaccines. But before this, polio is a very scary thing. Let me show you why. Can I have the next slide, please? So these are some of the symptoms of uh, polio. If you, if you have them, you could have uh, nausea, sore throat, fever, headache. I'm sure the uh, uh, medical doctors and physicians, you know, the speakers after this will go more in depth into it. But I would like to highlight a bit, right? Between 2 to 10 out of 100 people who have, who have paralysis, you know, from poliovirus infection actually die because the virus affects the muscles that help them to breathe. These are some of the, you might think like it's just 2 or 10 people. You know, it, it might look that way, but if someone you know is the two or in the 10, then it's a big thing for them. You know, uh, I'm not trying 
to come here to impress upon you a horror story. In fact, uh, the presentation today, you know, is very much uh, family friendly, nothing horrific. But I'm here to impress upon you how significant this threat is that makes Rotary spend all its time and resources in building up a global program to go against polio. Okay, next slide, please. So we have immunized more than 2.5 billion children against polio in 122 countries, and we have reduced polio cases by 99.9% .9 worldwide. I think if there is one thing from a COVID-19 pandemic is that people have um, higher realization and uh, awareness of uh, the importance of health and disease, uh, as especially, you know, uh, disease that uh, can be transmission from one person to another, you know, that is infectious. I guess that's the same way that you can look at polio and its threat. Next slide, please. So according to one of the uh, earliest uh, record that we have is of course by British physician Michael Underwood, where polio was first clinically described. Uh, next to it, you can see a picture where the uh, MD actually wrote a treatise on it, on the uh, diseases of children. And then we go on to the next part. This is where it gets more significant, right? Next slide, please. So we are looking at 1804, German physician Jacob published a 78 page monograph, right? So here's the, here's the important thing, right? Polio actually targets the motor nerves of our spinal cord, you know? And uh, he's one of the first person who used the term infantile paralysis. It means that there are children that are affected by polio because of the lack of, uh, uh, say, a safe vaccine or a possible vaccine back then, you know, they actually have to suffer from paralysis or they feel some kind of um, being poked by needles in their legs, a lot of different horrible things that they have to endure. Next, please. So now we give it a little bit of jump back to 1894. So you are going together with me you know, in a time machine to go through time of some of the important milestones in our uh, treatment and eradication of polio in 1894. This is the first documented polio outbreak in US, you know, occurs in Vermont. So it has 18 deaths and 132 cases of permanent paralysis. So I'm talking about permanent paralysis because there's no possible treatment or cure. Okay, just a fun fact, right? Perhaps it's not that fun, but there is no cure to polio until today. Okay, so if you are watching this right now, maybe Rotarians, Rotaractors, or non-Rotaractors, there's no cure for polio, but it's preventable. That's why we have all these different types of vaccine that we are going to look into. So in 1905, right, Swedish physician, so we have the British, we have the German, now we have the Swedish, right? You follow the story so far? So it suggests that polio is actually a contagious disease. And above there, these are the 15 scientists, you know, that contributed towards polio treatment. So right now they are all in the polio hall of fame. You know, there is a polio hall of fame because this is how threatening polio is. Okay, next up, please. So these are some illustration on the uh, polio virus, uh, two physicians in Vienna. Next up, please. Okay, now here is where the story really begins right 1916 you all remember 1916 i'm sure none of us are born that time but during 1916 there is a major polio outbreak in new york city killing more than 2000 people you know so it paralyzes thousands of people you see all those machines over there you see in the picture it's like some uh, sci-fi movie or something right everyone is in some kind of machine those are actually uh, machines that help them to, uh, to breathe. I will show you in a while, you know, with better pictures. So next slide, please. If you can see on this slide, right, it says that children under 16 are not allowed to enter this town. Do you know why? To stop the potential spread of polio. You know, that's the reason why I think COVID-19 actually 
alerted people on some very important threats you know, around the world. I think for a very long time, we are living in some sort of uh, you know, emerging economies, you know, and then we are in some countries, you know, it's a prosperity bubble of sort. So it, we kind of forget the many important things, you know, that could threaten our survival, you know, disease, environmental disasters. So just like COVID-19, you know, uh, right now, back then in 1916, you know, they actually prohibit uh, children, which they believe are vulnerable to not enter town, you know, in order to not transmit the disease further. Okay, next up, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying I'm going to show you a machine, right? So in 1929, right, so we have um, Shaw and Drinker actually invent, uh, invented an artificial respirator for patients suffering from paralytic polio, uh, the iron lung, right? So we can see this machine over here. But of course, this is not the final version. There is a couple more versions, you know, that we experimented with over the years. So we are, we are looking at 1929. What year is it now? Now it's 2020. So this is 1929. Okay, next up, please. Thank you. So this is the milestone, 1955. 1955. Several countries across uh, Southeast Asia, you know, begins to uh, negotiate or, you know, they could be fighting or, you know, in some form for their independence around this decade of 1950 to 1960s. At the same time, in 1955, a vaccine is being developed by Dr. Jonas Salk, which is declared safe and effective. Therefore, this is our first known polio vaccine okay please next slide please so right now in 1960 if you see a lot of row three four fours right where you see all these volunteers you know they try to drip some sort of vaccines into uh, the uh, mouths of babies and things like that things you always see you know that are row three published on their posters where does the oral polio vaccine begin dr albert sabin 1960. So up until now is about over over a 60 years period. So the first oral polio vaccines is only like 60 years ago. Next up, please. So 1979. This is an important year, right? Uh, any any Philippines? Anyone rotaractors, rotarians from Philippines here? So in 1979. RI actually begins its fight against polio. This is a multi-year project to immunize 6 million children in the Philippines. Okay, this is important because this is the first year where Rotary really go all out, you know, large scale, Philippines. This is among the places where it began, right? 1979, not too long ago. Next up, please. So this is the beginning of Polio Plus the first and the largest internationally coordinated private sector support of public health initiative with an initial fundraising target of 120 million. So right now, Rotary and polio is kind of synonymous, but where does it begin, right? So we are looking at the history right now. This is the time, you know, where we really go all out. Next up, please. So we go on to create the, um, with WHO, the World Health Organization, to launch the Global Polio Eradication Initiative. So how many cases there are, you know? I want you to pay attention to this, right? So every time when you see me or hear me announcing a milestone, right? Do give Road Tree International a clap react, right? So right now, there is 350,000 cases in 125 countries. What year? Let's have a look. What year is it? 1988. How many cases? 350,000 cases. How many countries? 125. I want you to remember this number because you will see the miracle of what Rotary has created you know, for polio eradication. Next, please. 
1994 announced that polio has been eliminated from the Americas. Give a round of applause. Give a clap react to RI. What year is it just now? 1988. Right now is what year? 1994. And in 1995, health workers and volunteers immunized 165 children in China and India in one week. Is that amazing? If you just give another round of applause to RI, right? So RI actually launches a Polio Plus Partners Program so that uh, Rotary members in polio-free countries can provide support. You know, that's what we are doing until right now, right? Next up. So we do a little bit of jump. We go to year 2000, a record of 550 million children, almost 10% of the world population, receive the oral polio vaccine. You know, I give you a picture today so that you can understand, you know, how the vaccine looks like. Okay, now, the Western Pacific region spanning from Australia to China, polio-free. Polio-free. Do you remember how, how we begin? We begin with how many countries? Over 125 countries, right? 125 countries. And then there are 350,000 cases. It's estimated, of course, there are more. And then we go on, you know, we have the Philippines project, and then we eradicate, eliminate, you know, polio from the Americas. And then we immunize children in China and India, you know, all in one week. And then in year 2000, which is about 20 years, which is 20 years ago, Australia to China, polio free. Next up. In year 2003, again, let us look at the number and the year, right? The year is 2003, right? How many more countries are left with polio? Six, six countries. Afghanistan, Egypt, India, Niger, Nigeria, Pakistan. Huge countries. Huge countries. So, remember this. Six countries, 2003. 17 years ago. Next up. In year 2004, in Africa, there is a national immunization days in 23 countries, you know, in the African continent, targeting 80 million children is the largest coordinated polio effort in the continent. Okay, this is important. What year? 2004. 2004. We hold on that so that we can see the, the ending later. Okay, next up, please. Yes, in year 2006, just now we have how many countries? Six countries. What year is that? Year 2003, we have six countries. Year 2006, we are dropped to four countries. Afghanistan, India, Nigeria, Pakistan. Next up, please. So in year 2009, who is this gentleman over here on the left? I'm aware on the internet, not everyone is a fan of the gentleman. But then you do realize that um, Bill and Melinda Gates uh, Foundation pledges uh, $355 million and issue Rotary a challenge grant of $200 million, you know, where they try to mash it, right? So this is back in year 2009 where Rotary's overall contribution to the effort is closing to 800 million, right? Now we are on track to 1 billion back then. So next up, please. Okay, this is where for a lot of, a lot of um, Rotarians and Rotaractors of this decade, they would know this campaign at the beginning, which is called the Disclose Campaign, right? We have people, anyone, uh, everyone from Desmond Tutu to um, uh, Senator Manny Pacquiao to say Jackie Chan, you know, Amitabh Bachchan, they are all in this program called Disclose because just a little bit more, we are going to eradicate polio from planet Earth. Uh, yeah, someone, I remember someone asked me before, he's a guy on the left, right? That's the guy who danced to Gundam style. Okay, so yeah, next up, please. Okay, year 2014, India goes three years without a new case, three years. And in year 2020, remember just now we mentioned about Remember Africa, 
Remember when they start the uh, immunization throughout Africa? That's year 2004, the largest immunization effort in the African continent, year 2004. That's 16 years ago. And right now, we are happily to announce in 25th of August 2020, WHO has announced polio has stopped in 47 countries in the African region. Right? If you have contributed a clause, please give yourself a round of applause. Next slide, please. And today, the number of countries with polio drops to two. However, recently we have been uh, hearing some resurgence of some cases, some minor resurgence in certain selected countries. But right now, the major countries drop to two, Afghanistan and Pakistan. Let's look at the number on the next slide. 52 cases, Pakistan 77 cases. So we are coming towards the end, next up. Thank you to the technical team for supporting. So it's very crucial for us to continue working to eradicate polio because if the effort were to stop today, you know what a waste it could be because polio could paralyze as many as 200 children every single year. Sometimes, you know, there are certain threats that is not at our doorstep. Therefore, we think that it affects other people, but not us. But the fortune that we are experiencing right now is only possible because there are volunteers, fundraisers, and fundraisers out there that are working very hard to put an end to polio. Next up, please. With this, that's all for my presentation. You can always uh, email me if you have any further questions. Last slide, please. With this, let's take action. Let's stand together and end polio now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Hugo Dan, for sharing about the history of polio and rotary. Thank you, MC. And thank you to all of you for paying attention. I know history is not exactly the most interesting of subjects, but then uh, it's an important one for you to understand how far we have came. Yes, sir. And next, I would like to introduce about the second speaker, Mr. Sandy Lee.